Dennis, thank you for being with us today. It's thank a true honor that me. you visit our place. Mm. And uh, I kindly ask you to say the, our usual five, seven minute introductory, uh, which is prevalent during a ceremony time when we have many teachers. Thank you very much. Okay. The floor is yours. Thank you uh, for inviting me and thank you for all of you for being here for this practice today. Uh, Zen Master Sung San's teaching is very simple. Uh, he always said, first make your direction clear, then just do it. So what is your direction? Why do you eat every day? We say, not for me, that's the name of our direction. Not for me, for all sentient beings. Wonderful idea. <laughs> Maybe not so easy to do. And why is that? Because we love ourselves more than anything else. So this is very difficult for human beings. This is 180 degrees in the other direction from how we ordinarily live. So not for me is an idea. Maybe a good idea. But if it's only an idea, then maybe this is difficult. So the point of practice, and certainly the point of Kyolche, is to take your idea and digest it. Then maybe something like wisdom, some sort of natural wisdom, some sort of ability to live your life in a correct uh, situation, correct relationship, and correct function becomes possible. So after Zen Master Sung San died, I had a dream. In my dream, he and Subang Zen Master were interviewing me, Kongan interview. Yeah, so question, 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 I couldn't answer anything. And finally, after many questions, Zen Master Sung San looked at Zen Master uh, Subang and said, this is why I do this. And this immense wave of compassion just rolled out. So that was my dream. What's your dream? How do you wake up from your dream? Yeah, so I hope we all wake up from our dream. Uh, save this world, help all sentient beings. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Mayajidu Popsani, for your insightful and simple, clear introductory we cherish the memories of Zen Master Sung San together. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Ha a háti zsákomból kiveszem a köveket, ez segít nekem átkelni ezen a bizonyos folyón, és átérek a túlsó partra is. Mi van, hogyha azt látjuk, hogy a túlsó part víz? So there is a um, image uh, views that uh, if you have a backpack and it's full of rocks mm. and you have these rocks and you put them out of the backpack and put it before you, mm. then it can become your, your way. Mm. Um, going through a river, for instance. Okay. But what if you go on, the, on this path, which you build yourself mm. for this, with these rocks, and you see that the other shore is not there, it's just water there. <laughs> so what then? <laughs> then very naturally you sink. <laughs> yeah, so, but where does it lead, that question? Én nem látom azt a célt, hogy ez a megérkezés, mintha folyamatos lenne inkább ez a munka. Nekem az átkelés közben az derült ki, hogy az átkelés vég, mindvégig tartani fog. So I don't see the goal. I, I just see that it's a continuous work and mm. going and going and going and it's like never arriving. Yeah, so you... Uh, maybe you have many rocks, but eventually you run out of rocks. <laughs> That's our lives. So walk, 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 and always come, there is an end to that. <laughs> no one knows when that end comes. So very important is this moment. What are you doing right now? So how do you live in this moment? Uh, we tell ourselves all kinds of stories to get through life. Maybe your story has a happy ending, maybe your story does not have a happy ending. But more important, why? What is your story about? Why do you live? In the temple rules, there's two lines I like very much. Um, if a cow drinks water, the water becomes milk. And if a snake drinks water, the water becomes venom. So when you drink water, what does it become? I want to say that you I would like that it would become milk. 
<laughs> yeah, so this is another way of asking why do, you, why do you live? What's your life all about? Régen nem erről szólt, most inkább arról, hogy hogyan tegyem tartalmassá úgy, hogy segítsek másoknak. Earlier it wasn't so, but now it's about how should I make it worthwhile this, this life to help others. Yeah, exactly that. How can I help you? So you ask, I answer, we help each other. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Álmokról lenne szó. It's about dreams. Uh, hogy ez hogy lehet, hogyha, hogy uh, van olyan, hogy amikor álmodom, akkor uh, uh, tudatában vagyok annak, hogy, hogy csak álmodom, és hogyha rosszat álmodok, és fel akarok, fel akarok ébredni, és ez sikerül is. Hogy lehet az, hogy én tudom így ezt uh, irányítani? How, how is it that when I'm dreaming, I can be conscious about dreaming, that, that I can realize that I'm dreaming, and if I'm dreaming something bad, I can wake myself up. How, how it's possible. Okay. Are you dreaming now? <laughs> no, I don't think so. How do you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah, so we have many ideas about uh, our lives and our dreams. There's a konan, um, it's at the Dharma speech of the third seat, and the commentary on that konan, uh, there's a couple lines in there, in a dream speaks a dream. So sometimes good dream, sometimes bad dream. Uh, not so important. Uh, how do you wake up from your dream moment to moment? That's the point. Uh, dreams, not so bad, but as long as we live in a dream, we suffer and we cause suffering for beings all around us. So how do you put down that dream, that, that idea that we all have about ourselves, our lives, that separation that we all seem to feel, that suffering that we all have, how do you address that? So Zen Master Sung San's teaching is if you're thinking and I'm thinking, then we're far apart. If we're not thinking, then we connect. So this is very difficult to speak about because it's all pointing at something that has no name and no form. So we say, wake up from a dream. There are many ways to explain. So sometimes we say primary point, we say true self, we say all kinds of names. But how do you attain that? And that's the point of practice, that's the point of kyolche, that's the point of this uh, wonderful space here we're all in. In your dream, in your awake, waking, just not for me, then no problem. Okay. I have a long history of um, questioning within me when is it my true self and my ego acting. And um, I think I have tired all the Dharma teachers in this in this temple with this enough. So I'm, I'm asking you, um, after quite intensive practice, I, I, I often feel like when I'm trying to just do my practice and for a glance I escape, I was blaming myself continuously and, and I realized this is something I need to forgive myself. So how do I continue? Do I just go and enjoy being and doing or, or what is the journey further? Thank you. Who is asking that question? My name is Istvan. Yeah, nice so it's like you make a separation there. Oh, I am doing this practice and I am somehow having to forgive myself or I am not forgiving myself or how can I heal, so on and so on and so on. So these are all questions that, and experiences that I think everyone has in this life. You could call this checking mind. Uh, you're checking yourself and you're checking your practice. And that never ends, or that can go on and on and on and on and on and on. And somehow we think that leads to something. 
But what you find, if you look at yourself, honestly, is it's just around and around and around and around and around. And that's samsara. That's called samsara. <laughs> so the point of practice is to come to terms with that. Always I'm looking for something. Always I'm uh, wondering about who I am and why I'm doing this. And there must be some person, some situation that's going to give me some uh, answer to that. And that it's not possible because that's, that's yours. <laughs> that's your kongan, that's your life, that's your answer. That maybe that voice, that those questions you have maybe won't stop. But uh, the point is not so much that you try to stop it or push it down or ignore it, but uh, just see it. <laughs> just see it for what it is and maybe loosen up <laughs> your grip on that kind of thinking and see what happens. Then forgive, not forgive, uh, good practice, bad practice, shallow, deep. All of that maybe fades away. <laughs> and then just this moment, what is this and how, how can I help? We say that all the time. And sometimes people get bored. They say, oh, you say the same thing all the time. So in Master Sung San, someone asked him that question. And he said, yeah, I say the same thing all the time, but nobody hears it. <laughs> so that's the point. Just take that for yourself. Take that as your practice. Um, just see it, because that comes and goes, comes and goes, and comes and goes. And if you follow it, then we get lost in the weeds. Then it's very difficult uh, to live with any sort of clarity and compassion. But already you have it. Thank okay? You. Okay. Let's do this. Thank you very much for your wonderful, simple, clear teaching following the footsteps of that of Zen Master Sung San. Thank you. Thank you.